TGS Let's Talk Gaming. I'm your host, Chloe Kowalik. You know what? We got a very cool episode for you guys today. First, I'm going to introduce Hunter, one of our co-hosts. Hunter. Hi. 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 How was your day? Uh, it was all right, I think. It was all right, you think? You always ask me this question. I'm never prepared for it. I don't know why. I've done it every single time. Every single time, and I don't remember it. Like, I don't... Do you don't remember your day? No, every you time forgot? you ask me, I don't remember what I did that day. What did you do today? I don't know. I know. <laughs> I went to... Oh, I had a Zoom meeting in the morning. Yeah. Had classes and stuff. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I had Zoom in also class. Nice, nice. I think we had the same exact day. Exactly. Exactly. Yep. We're just attached to hip today. Yeah, for sure. Metaphorically. Physically. No. We're stuck. Nope. Oh, no. Our table. Alex. It's broken. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> We Stop. also have Alex here. Alex, I how am, are you? I am Jay Chillin. Alex is Jay Chillin. Alex is very busy Where's also. He going? They closed the door that you didn't close. What? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but yes. It's so, okay, I got the door. You know what else? You you should not you should not worry about. Well, <laughs> I didn't have a good lead in for this one. <laughs> <laughs> You're listening to WCBF 88.9, the campus and community voice of Fredonia. Yeah. You could have been like, you know what else you shouldn't worry about? Getting quality content on WCVF 88.9. You know what? This is not... The campus and community voice of Fredonia. Okay, please don't be mean to me. I'll cry. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe, Chloe's had a bit of a day. I've We're had be... a bad past week, and it's just every single day there's been something else. So you Me know. and Hunter are <laughs> going to be on our best behavior today. Right, yes. Hunter? No, it's we okay. Will. This is my favorite part of the day, and I'm very excited to be Pinky here. Pinky promise. Pinky promise. You know what? I'll believe it when I see it. Well, better get ready to believe it, punk. You just called me a punk, Alex. Bing bong. No, pu- Bing bong. punk is like a... It's, punk like is a, it's an endearing term for punk you. Punk is a yes. good term yes. now. Yeah. Punk yeah. is a good term now. It's like, yes. you know what? I'm comfortable enough with you to insult you. <laughs> Bing bong. That's true. <laughs> but yeah, so... What are you doing today, Chloe? Uh, <laughs> our topic for today was actually Alex's idea. Shout out to Alex. Thank you. It's best gaming moments. Best gamer moments. Yes. So I didn't know exactly what you meant by this. And I brought two different interpretations of it. Mm-hmm. I was like, best like moments happening in video games, like a specific scene or something. Mm-hmm. But then also moments that we've had in video games. So I have one of each. I, I mean, personally, both are fine. Yeah. Uh, no, I wasn't. I never asked you. And I was like, we'll just go with both. When I was first like, <laughs> gamer moments. Uh, I was thinking, like, actual moments in the video game. Okay, because when it was... Good one. Because I saw I saw a TikTok, and uh, I was like, you know what? That's a really cool gamer moment. Ah, okay. Uh, what was the TikTok? We'll start with that. If that was how you led into it. Do you remember? Uh, the TikTok was uh, essentially a, a small uh, reflection on an ending to a certain video game. Oh, it was um, an ending. I tried not to do any endings because I didn't want to spoil well, this game is over 10 years old, so I don't care. Oh, anymore. then it's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. <laughs> or at least it's pretty close to 10 years old. That's fine. Uh, I don't know if Hunter's ever played this game because it is an exclusive to Xbox. Um, you maybe. I don't know if you play this franchise, though. Have you guys played Halo Reach? Oh, yeah. Ah, I, I of played course. Halo. Yeah, I played Halo 4. Okay, okay. Halo Reach was the best. And Halo, Halo 3. Halo Reach. Yes. Did you play Reach specifically? No, I didn't play Reach oh, specifically. I played Reach with, you my, played Reach? My, with my good buddy Rain. Okay. Shout that's, out. Okay. So then. The I haven't played have it specifically, been, but I do know the I know the franchise very well. The tables have been flipped then, so then Hunter Hunter will know what I'm talking about. Somewhat, maybe. Uh, specifically, let me actually see if I can bring up the TikTok. I'll get some you know dramatic music going and stuff. <laughs> It'll be really nice. It'll be really artistic. Um, talk while I find this TikTok, please. I have a Halo story. This you have one a time, Halo story. my friend Caitlin and I were playing Halo because we used to play all the time. It was in Halo 4. Shout out to Caitlin. Shout out to Caitlin. There was this one part where the bridge would extend from one side of the platform to the other. And we were driving, they call them warthogs, but they're like little like army jeeps. And I was really expecting the bridge to extend before it did. It did not. <laughs> And I drove us straight off the side of the map, and we were <laughs> laughing so hard because we just, like, flipped all the way down and just died. It was so sad. That do how it be sometimes. We'll see. Yes. Oh. Isn't this so sad? It is a sad song. 
So specifically, I'm talking about the Halo Reach ending, right? Sorry, sorry to interrupt, but oh, it's restarting. Anyways, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm specifically talking about the Halo Reach ending. Uh, Hunter, you'll know this. Uh, right when the uh, the final ship takes off of Reach, and you are the only one left on the planet, the only human left on this planet, and your final mission comes up, and on the screen it is simply the word survive. Uh, and you are faced with hordes and waves of Covenant uh, coming to defeat you. Uh, it's just like, I remember that so vividly the first time I played it. Because it doesn't take you too long before you realize, like, there is no way to win this. Mm -hmm. It is just wave after wave after wave of Covenant. And that really sinks in after you've fought a little bit and you've taken a bit of damage and the actual like uh screen of your visor like cracks so there's like a big crack in the screen like oh this is what's happening so then you just keep fighting but in the end you know you will be defeated you will <laughs> yeah I, I think i survived for like 20 minutes just shooting covenant before <laughs> finally finally i fell um but uh, it ends with an awesome cinematic of uh, of uh, your your Spartan essentially. Um, what's his name again? I completely forgot. Noble Six. Yeah. Uh, Noble Six just fighting off the Covenant. Like takes off his helmet, uh, and you're seeing like through the helmet visor, and you just see your uh, dude just slashing with the like energy sword, and the Covenant just like you know dogpiling you, but you're like kicking him off. It's pretty intense, uh, and the the final scene of the game is like Reach completely covered in vegetation again, uh, but your visor is like still there and weathered and cracked. Mm. Um, it's really, it hits it hits hard, don't you think so, Hunter? Yep. As you were describing it, I've seen the scene before now. Mm -hmm. I, I know what you mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to I want to yeah. get a buck with you. I've never played the campaign. Aww. But I I know the exact oh I have seen the exact scene. I've seen like the Chloe. scene too. I don't know where. I'm sure just like in a montage or something. Mm -hmm. But no, that's 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 a good example. That's a good way to start. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I saw that TikTok and I was like, wow. I remember doing that with you know, with my buds and mm -hmm. it was just like, whoa. Oh. So it's a it's an incredible game. If you have not played it, find a way to play Halo Reach. Oh, it is sure. worth it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It's it's a great game. Yeah. That's a good one. My limitations for Halo Reach, because obviously I had to play it with my uh, good buddy Rain, never had an Xbox. Mm -hmm. um, we would mainly play online mm. and play like games like King of the Hill with Warthogs and like fun stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sorry, I'm responding to this. There's, <laughs> uh, it's just something for the show Telegram? I have after oh. this. Okay. No, I mean, unless you wanted me to read aloud the whole news 11 no. group chat. For the <laughs> competitor, WNYF. They're not competitor. You guys are on the no, no, same no, no, no. team. No, 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 no. Oh, Hold my on. God. You know. You're on the same team. I'm, you're I'm both cool campus TV, media. I'm cool with the TV station, but one of, one of your fellas came into the TV station the other day. I was like, we're filming a skit. and we're, He's not my fella. And we're enemies. And I was like, oh. Are your enemies with this person? Well, wow. no, not not oh. the person specifically. Oh, because they walked they're in. They're they from the wa TV they station. walked in, and they were like, oh, they the, oh, I know the idea mean. of the skit is that we're enemies, and you're infiltrating WNYF. I was like, oh, are oh, we now? Well, that's making a barrier. Yes. It doesn't need to be there. I want to yeah. see you do a roll, a roll into like N WNYF, like a somersault, like a. Do you want to come with me to the news tonight and just like roll in and just not, like? Not right now. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> right now, Alex just leaves Hunter and I do the rest of the show. <laughs> Alex is leaving. Yep. Alex is going. He's going. He's going to do a roll. He's rolling on the floor right now. I'm watching him. Wait, I gotta stand so I can see it. How's he going? I can't see. You gotta. You gotta. It's like you know when a little kid does a cartwheel for the first time and their legs don't go up in the air, uh, but they go out to the side. That's what it was. Yep. Parkour. Uh, you, <laughs> I don't know if you remember this, but there was one time. It was last year, yeah. last semester. Yeah. You were coming home. We were all in the common room. Yeah. We were, oh, we were still in Hemingway. I'm pretty sure it was you. Because we all just kind of shot you with Nerf guns. It was Alex, because he was coming home from Rolling Records here. At yeah. The yeah. Of course. <laughs> you were coming home. Do you remember when I did a roll with two, like, little pistol? Yes. It was terrifying. <laughs> I get bullied everywhere. 
in Hemingway, <laughs> at Barcelona Townhouse, at the radio station, at home, abroad. I'm bullied. It's okay, Alex. Don't worry. I understand. I get bullied too. <laughs> by you guys. But it's fine. Not right now, you aren't. Not today, because I already dealt with enough today. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Oh, I w- do you want me to go next, or did you want to say something specific? You can go. Okay, cool. I've got two, so I'll, I'll like, I'll uh, go between you guys. Perfect. So I'll talk about an actual gaming moment, like Alex said, before I talk about my personal story. So I'm going to talk about Final Fantasy 15. <laughs> I feel like... Of course. I feel like everyone gets mad at me for Final no. Fantasy. But it's so good, and no I'll continue to play mad. it. No one We just chuckle. Listen, yes. there's this one part. This isn't a spoiler. I was very careful because I know Alex hasn't played the game yet. And there are so many cooler moments that I could talk about. But I was all like, I should be careful because Alex hasn't played the game yet. And if it's ruined for you, there's no sense in playing it. So there is one part in the story. The whole the whole game is just a really big, impactful, deep story. Mm-hmm. And there's one part in the story where you travel to a different land. And that land is called Altitia. Now it's like basically picture Italy and how beautiful like Venice is with all like the water and the city. That's what it looks like. It's literally gorgeous there. It's so pretty. And you go there after just going through so much with your characters and then you just go to this really beautiful place and it's like super calming and beautiful and relaxing. There's a couple other characters that you meet there. There's cute little restaurants, like floating restaurants on the water. And Hunter and Alex, no, at least Hunter knows my my Italy obsession. I really want to go to Italy. She wants to live in like on the coast. If I ever win the lottery and I don't have to have any responsibilities here, I'll live on the coast of Italy, in a little like coastal town. I really think that's kind of valid, and I think this is where it came from. <laughs> so it's just so beautiful there. You guys should like look up a picture of it. I've seen. You, you showed Altitia? me pictures. Oh, of Altitia. Oh. I'll pull up a picture on my left. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to find gaming moments that I can think of. You wrote one on there, man. Gamers. I did. I was trying to get another. All right. Altisha. It's so beautiful. This is what it looks like. Uh, let me make this bigger. You gotta, we got to explain it to the audio listeners. I did. It's, it's like a like, water. The whole premise of the city is that it's like water themed. Water. So that's what oh, it looks man. like. Whoa, it's it's like, beautiful, isn't it? It's essentially like, imagine like a, an ocean, but with like elvish architecture, like yeah. high elf architecture, like rising out of the ocean. It's pretty cool. And that's the thing that they worship a certain god there called Leviathan. Mm-hmm. And the Leviathan, it's not exactly what it sounds like, lives in the water and kind of like is the main life source of the city mm-hmm. so that's why they're all like in the water and they it really it means a lot to them like nature and stuff there it's very cool mm-hmm. but it's like super beautiful like i said and like when you pull up to that and that that picture that i showed you is like covering your whole tv screen mm-hmm. it's just so beautiful and it's amazing and it's just like after everything that you go through in the first part of it before you go to altisha it's like a breath of fresh, fresh air mm-hmm. so yeah yeah. It's really cool. Magical. 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 Want to know what else is magical? What's magical? Listening to this station right here, 88.9 WCVF, the campus and community voice of Fredonia. That's pretty solid. That yeah. was nice. That was nice. That was smooth. Smooth criminal. Smooth. Almost as good. smooth as what Radiothon is going to be tomorrow. I was going to mention that, but not yet. Oh, but well. we can talk about it now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so basically, basically, as Alex has already spoiled for you guys, Whoops. Radiothon is tomorrow. I'm just so but excited. Half of you probably already knew that, if anyone's listening right now. Probably my parents already knew. I already told them about it. But Radiothon is 24 hours straight of live radio. Yep. And it's sponsored by the radio station, you know. It is indeed. And it's a whole, like, fundraising event for us mm-hmm. to help raise money for campus media. And we're doing vinyl and CD sales mm-hmm. in two of the, the halls on campus. That's McEwen and the Williams Center. And it's just going to be an all-around good time. We're going to be on... BGS actually has a slot at 5 in the morning if anyone is up at that ungodly hour and would like to listen to us talk. That would be very cool. Our other show that we talk about all the time, Just the Facts, has a one-hour segment, which is kind of crazy because it's usually a five-hour segment, but we're going to be on for an hour straight. Mm-hmm. Five-hour segment? Five-hour segment. Uh, one hour. You mean five-minute segment? Five-minute, yes. Wow, that would be crazy. Just the Facts, five-hour edition. Five edition. A one-minute. A one-hour segment of Just the Facts. We're going to spit straight facts at you guys at 1 in the morning. You should join that. 
And tomorrow at noon is our other show that we help produce. It's High Noon Friday. Just the Facts is on that as well. Yes. So you get Double Just the Facts. Double Just the Facts. But yeah, you guys should tune in. And if you're on or around campus, you should come and buy some vinyl. And yeah. We, 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 you guys got like uh, mystery bags and yeah, stuff, right? we've got, Yeah, we've got the tables there. We've got mystery bags. We've got uh, individual vinyl, individual CDs. Uh, we're trying to clear out the archives a little bit. So uh, come buy our stuff, you know. Trying to raise we've money. We've got a raffle. Um, we've got a raffle for a pretty big and pretty cool prize mm-hmm. uh you know i'll, I'll spoil it oh you're gonna spoil i think i think this is an official announcement from the radio it station is. right here it is we'll be raffling off two things Ooh. we'll be raffling off a uh, turntable with a few records uh and we will also be raffling off one of the famous uh the well sought after uh, Sela Irwin 88.9 wcvf oh. coffee mugs that's so cool. I might put in for that. <laughs> That's so nice. fun. Aw. So we'll be raffling off one of those as well. So that'll be pretty cool. Shout um, out to Sela Irwin. There's a little spinny wheel that you can spin for prizes. Um, mm-hmm. On those, pr- on that prize wheel, we have uh, a choice of like CDs and vinyl. We have uh, some posters. We have some uh, big taco or big taco. What the? <laughs> big I'm cheeseburger like and taco. <laughs> Uh, merchandise as well. And we're also actually kind of doing a little promotion. Yeah, I have it pulled up here. So we're partnering with Taco and the Big Cheeseburger. They're two, for those of you that aren't in Fredonia right now, they're two local restaurants. They're in the same building. I think they're owned by the same people as well. Mm -hmm. So Taco is a Mexican restaurant. They got all kinds of Mexican food. It's fantastic there. I love it. And the Big Cheeseburger is exactly what it sounds like. Big Cheeseburger. The cheeseburgers are like literally just a a foot They're big. They're, They're quite huge. literally big. They are <laughs> huge. And there's actually going to be a fun little cheeseburger eating contest yes. at noon on Saturday. You should listen to that. Yes. But we're doing a fundraiser with them. So any of your orders, if you enter WCVF10 in the promo code option, you get... How much do you get off? You get to donate not part off, of your... You donate part you of it. donate part of your purchase to Fredonia Radio is. Systems. 10%. Oh, 10%. Okay, um, I see you now. You, uh, you get to give us a little bit of money. Yeah, by it, don- it donates part of your order. You support campus media and you support local businesses like the Big Cheeseburger and Taco. Yep. So uh, it's very nice. And of course, like we've said before, tune in to Radiothon. Plenty of awesome, awesome shows happening. Uh, wait, wait, wait. The The... Uh, Taco Big Cheeseburger Partnership runs from Friday to Sunday. Yes, so it anytime does run this from weekend. Friday to Sunday. Order tons of cheeseburgers, tons of tacos. WCBF 10. Yes, I, I recommend getting some churros on the side. Yes, yep. churros are pretty tasty. Uh, my personal favorite is a good old double cheeseburger. Uh, that's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Uh, but a ton of awesome shows that we have on Radiothon. Uh, we've got, well, I'm on quite a few shows. I might have made a mistake. Uh, Alex isn't going to sleep ever again. I'm not going to sleep tomorrow. I'm on eight shows. <laughs> if you'd like to hear Alex live for half of Radiothon. If you uh, like a third of it. Literally a third of it because it's 24 hours straight. He's on for eight hours. Mm, yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> if, if you like hearing me talk, tomorrow is going to be like your favorite day of the year. Because yes. I'll be on like all the time. We've But we've got some awesome shows. We've got Death by Sax. By uh, Jazzman Josh. Shout Ribico. out to Jazzman Josh. Shout right out Jazzman Josh. He's going to be <laughs> improving the saxophone for one hour. Yeah. That's pretty crazy. Um, we've got Heather Talks Hip Hop. If you like hip hop, if you like well researched hip hop, you know, and some good choices, definitely tune into Heather's show. I believe she's going to be having some guests coming on as well. Oh, cool. Um, we've got Hour Hour with Trevor. I believe mm-hmm. that's going to be a little bit of a sports talk, you know, so if you like your sports. And we have a uh, interview with a band with uh, Cheap Peach, the Cheap Peach Power Hour, uh, with Riley. She's gonna be interviewing a local band around here, so it's gonna Perfect. be pretty cool. Tons of awesome, awesome shows for Radiothon, honestly. And we'll be there too. And we'll be there. Yes, we got some variety, yeah. man. A lot, big variety. Yeah, there's a lot of different things yeah. going on, so it'll be cool. You guys should tune in if you want to listen to BGS again. Yes. We don't have a topic. We're just gonna whatever comes out. Five a.m. Yep. Yeah. Video game themed. Especially for me, because I won't be able to sleep. <laughs> We're not sleeping either. We're staying up, man. I know, but We're I'll be, like, but you. I'll be like working the entire time. Oh yeah, I know. I'm gonna do my homework. Is my plan because it, you know, finals is coming up. Mm-hmm. I can work on some homework. But yeah. yeah. yeah so yeah, it's definitely tune into Radiothon. Mm-hmm. But back to back to video games specifically. Hunter, did you want to go next? Sure. 
some Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> we talk about the same five shows or five games on the show. Well, Minecraft is like half my life, so. No, it's okay. Me too. I understand. Beating the Ender Dragon at the end of the game. That is pretty. Yes. Are you mentioning specifically the scene at the end the... of the game where it's like the text no. going across? I do like that, and I'll I'll say something about that after then. Okay. I'm talking about when you hit that final arrow shot. Mm-hmm. Your the, the health goes down, bar is empty, and you get the crackling yes. and the purple lights beaming mm-hmm. off of the Ender Dragon as it fades into nothingness. And you won. All the XP comes down. You get showered in it. Mm-hmm. You pick it all up. It gets like six levels. It used to be a lot more. And then uh, it's all, it's great. And you jump in the end portal, mm-hmm. return home, and you hit the text. All right, so the text at the end, basically it's a little complicated. And I don't know how well I could explain <laughs> what it's talking about on the radio, but I'll do my best. So after you beat the Ender Dragon, you you, ju- you jump in the portal, like Hunter said, and this like it's like the dirt block as the background. And there's text going on. And it's, like, talking about the player as if you're not reading it. And then it kind of, like, breaks the fourth wall a little bit. And it's like, oh, they're reading this right now. It's in glyphs. It's very kind of crazy. It talks about your journey throughout Minecraft. and It's just, I don't really know how to explain it. It's such a complicated thing. But it's just very cool. It's something that I've gone through many times just to get to the ending scene again. And there's a quote in it that I really like. It goes, And the universe loves you because you are love. And I really like that quote. And I have it in my Instagram bio. That was pretty cool. Yeah, it's like, and nobody knows it's from Minecraft too, which is fantastic. I haven't read it. I'm going to make sure I quoted it right. But the whole idea of that, and this is coming from a little game, Minecraft, that's just blocks. You know, you don't, not little, you know what I mean? But it's like a, it's just like a small little wholesome game. Not small, but it's just wholesome is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, it's an exactly. innocent little game. You would never think it would, it would turn into something so serious. Yeah, and the universe said, I love you because you are love. And the whole idea is that it's like, love is like, takes over everything else. Love is extremely important. And that's like the key to living a happy life is living a life where you love and you are loved. I just think that's pretty solid. And I think yeah. that's a very cool concept. Yeah. So I I try to live by that and I try to live every day like being happy and loving my life. Live your life by a Minecraft quote quote. Yes. There's another there's another quote in that that I would like to bring some attention to because I personally live my life this way. Uh, and I feel like it sums up quite a quite a nice bit. Uh, at the end, after like that whole uh, interaction with the the you are love, because that's two different like narrators talking. Yes. Yeah. Uh, at the end, then it's just like a couple of like regular quotes. Uh, this one, this one is pretty good. Twenty years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things that you didn't do than by the ones you did do. So throw off the bow lines, sail away from the safe harbor, catch the trade winds in your sails, explore, dream, discover. I like that. I think that's, that's, that's cool. on par for Minecraft. Yeah. It is. It yeah. is very on par for Minecraft. And it's right. a little on par for my life, I'd say. Uh, very often am I just like, you know what? Why not? Let's do it. Let's drive to Ohio at 10, a- <laughs> at 10 yes. in the night. You know, it, it's, I mean, it sums up. sums up pretty good. Yeah. yeah. No, that's, and it's, you wouldn't expect something so philosophical, philo- philosophical, there it is. Philosophical. Philosophical. Listen, it's been a long day. Philosopher. It's been a long day. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Thank you for the impression. You sound like the, you sound like the, the dog that goes, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. <laughs> I have a telegram too, but I forgot to tell you. That I have a me. telegram. I have two telegrams. Okay. Do, 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 do. It's, it's such that a is, long That's our brand new and permanent telegraph. Aw, oh, permanent. <laughs> Sad. Permanent. <laughs> uh, I've got two. Number one from Celia Irwin. She wants to make sure that we get a good night's sleep tonight. Um, that's what my mom told me. That's uh, sweet. Uh-huh. Uh, I have another one, though. Uh, 
Sherry Kowalik is officially following the Fredonia Radio Instagram yes, account Sherry! now. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Shout got, out to Sherry. I got the notification. I was like, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Listen. Thank you, Sherry, for the support. We appreciate it. We do appreciate it. Gotta I bring have that a telegram follower too. number up. <laughs> oh, yeah. I have a telegram from Nick. Yeah. Shout out to Nick. Nick just got out of a surgery today, but he's doing well. And I really appreciate that he's listening right now, even though he's not feeling super great. And Nick said, we lost power for a few seconds and missed the past six to eight minutes, but that was 10 minutes ago, so it's fine. Ah. But yes, that's it. <laughs> Thank you, Nick. But yeah, shout out to Minecraft. Thanks <laughs> for tuning in, time. guys. Shout out to Sila, Sherry, Nick, and Minecraft. Yes. <laughs> and Hunter for bringing that up, because oh, that was a good one. I didn't even think about that. So yeah. Alex, did you have one if we're going another? Uh, in a row? Or I, I mean, can I go? Have, I have quite a few, okay. honestly. Um, yeah, I have like two more. So if, uh, if no one has one, you can yeah. like jump back to me at any time. We're doing kind of like a round robin right now. So. Yeah. yeah. Round yeah. table. Round table. Um, another one that I personally quite like uh, is, and we've talked about this game a couple times, I feel like, uh, What Remains of Edith Finch. Ah, that's mm -hmm. a, that is yes. a good one. Yeah. Um, number, the, the one that I'm thinking of, and I guess a little bit of a spoiler. Uh, so, spoiler alert for Edith Finch. There is one uh, story in Edith Finch where essentially it is about a guy uh, who works at a, a, a fish packing plant, uh, but he really likes to daydream. Um, so, the, 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 the small story essentially goes like you, you're controlling his hand and you're chopping the fish and like the chopper and then you throw it back onto the line, right? You keep doing, like, that movement, and that's how it starts. There's a narrator talking, and then there's a small little bubble in the top left, uh, and it's essentially your daydream. Uh, and it's you with, like, a short, a, short, a sword and a shield, uh, and you're uh, walking through, like, a maze. Uh, and then you, you exit the maze, and then you enter a boat, and the, the, the daydream, like, starts to take up more of the screen. And you go through the boat, you go through uh, channels, you uh, become king of a, of a long lost kingdom, uh, you, uh, you expand your influence, uh, and you continue sailing down this river, and the daydream starts getting bigger and bigger, uh, and essentially, uh, eventually it takes up the entire screen, uh, and you're going down like uh, uh, massive cities full of gold, and like the people are cheering you on. Uh, and you feel it, it overcomes you uh, with like this, wow, I'm a king. But the entire time, you're still chopping the fish. Mm -hmm. Like the, you'll see like a fish appear on your screen and your hand is still there. And you chop it and you throw it back up. But you're not paying attention to like the fish, right? You're paying attention to this daydream. You're just subconsciously going through that motion, but focusing all your attention on this daydream. And it eventually consumes you, uh, and um, an event happens, and I won't spoil that part. Uh, but just like uh, you know, going through your daily motions, but thinking about something else, it caught me. It, I always say that it, it caught me well because I doing that motion became like second nature. Like I wasn't even thinking about it. My my thumb was just on the joystick, just doing the motions <laughs> uh, while I was completely consumed by this by this daydream yeah almost consumed cool. like i am by the radio station i i, I <laughs> it's not your turn I, I, it wasn't my turn but like i was thinking about it i was like i'm gonna i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it but i then, am upset <laughs> uh you know what Hunter, you can take my you can take mine because i gotta do the group i had a segue <laughs> you did alex that was rude you're listening to WCVF 88.9, the campus and community voice of Fredonia. Alex is banging on the window that's separating us and crying and sending Hunter, Hunt, Hunter, Hunter hearts. Hunter doesn't care. <laughs> Thanks for narrating. You're welcome. That's I'm, my job. It's like a play-by-play. -play. I'm, I'm going to be so honest <laughs> That was you. so mean. I was, I, was, I was like doing it and I was like, I have an amazing idea for a station ID. And then I said it, and then I looked at the time, and it was 6.30, and I was like, oh, no. Oh, That's no. not the time I thought it was. I know, it's going my fast. I'm so sorry. You already had yours. 
I'm so you can, sorry. Well, you did do yours. I was going to say if you didn't do it, you could take mine because I'll do the grapevine no, anyway, it's but okay. it's fine. I'm it's fine. sorry, Hunter. Okay. <laughs> I Unmute just, yourself. I just, oh. Hey, Man, Chloe. you're really upset. Hi. How you doing? I, I, good now. That's good. How are you? Doing all right. Yeah? <laughs> Anyways, I'll continue the show. Yeah. So my next moment... I'm gonna do another Final Fantasy one because I don't know why I didn't say this before. But I think it's fantastic. Okay, so in the game, there's this place called Golden Key and it's basically like a beach resort, kind of. And it's beautiful, the water is like straight up blue. It's so pretty there. And it goes out, it's kind of like, you ever see like the Bali, like the, how would you describe them? They're like little huts that branch out in the water. Oh yeah. Yeah, it kind of looks like that a little bit. But it's I like it's got like massage tables and like a f like fishing docks. One of the characters, Noctis, is really into fishing. That's like his hobby. All the characters have their own hobbies. Remember, I talked about Ignis with the cooking. So Noctis is fishing, and it's like special like seafood, fish meals that they make there. It's just like a place to relax, and it's very pretty right on the water. And as you walk up to the bridge to go out towards the things that look like the things in Bali, there's a little cat sitting on the side. And you, go up, you can go up to the cat, you can pet it. And when you pet the cat, it gives you a quest. It's a side quest. It's like, feed the cat. So you go and catch a fish, and you bring it to the cat, but the cat won't eat it raw. So you have to go to the lady that's running the restaurant, and you prepare the fish for the cat. And then you bring it to the cat, and it's the sweetest thing ever. And then like the cat goes away and does its thing. And you can find the cat in other spots in the map. And it's like a quest to feed the cat, like that runs throughout the whole game. And I love it, and that's so wholesome. So that moment when I found the cat, I was really determined I was just going to do a straight playthrough of the game and do all the side quests after because there's a function where you can go back in time and redo all the side quests, but it saves your progress. So I was like, I'm going to do all my side quests after. That is the one side quest I actually did was all the cat ones. It reminds me of this one Twitter account. It's a, uh, can you pet the dog in X game? And it, it showcases oh. like a bunch of games that feature like a dog and says, you can pet this one. You can, you can should, uh, play with this one. We should, t we should talk about that one week. Like animals and games, like cute characters like that. Yeah. Like, you know, dog meat from Fallout, Alex? Oh, Alex isn't here. Alex, you can come back. I have returned. My thumbs up was saying you could come back. Oh, well. Hunter's forgiven you for your sin. <laughs> <laughs> Stealing his grapevine, not grapevine, uh, Station ID. I'm so sorry, Hunter. That was really mean. I didn't, I genuinely didn't mean it. <laughs> I was like, oh, You know what, ID, Alex, station. I didn't mean to interrupt your Station ID that one time you were mean to me. So now you know how I feel. <laughs> but yes, the cats. You you know dog meat, you know what I'm talking about? Dog meat is a dog. Dog yeah. meat is a dog. Yeah, I know, because we were talking about dogs. <laughs> That's why I brought it up. Hunter brought yeah. up the Twitter account. Yes. But yeah. Dog meat. Dog meat is a yeah. is a chill dude. It's chill dude. Jay chillin. There's a lot of those. What? Twitter accounts about games. Yeah. We could talk about that one week. That'd be cool too. Social media coverage. And games. There's one. It's like. That's I can't remember like... what it's called. Never mind. <laughs> well, no, don't tell it now. Anyway, we'll save it. Yeah. yeah. The Twitter yeah. account that got Chloe her Xbox. What a G. Shout out. Shout out. Shout out to Matt Swider, the guy that does the. <laughs> PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, push notifications. That's how I got my Xbox. Yo. <laughs> Shout out. But yeah. Hunter, did you want to... Do you have another one or no? I do have one more. Okay. I also don't know how loud it is for our audience, but the Starview Valley music is popping right now. <laughs> it's fine. That's right? Yeah. Is it too right. loud? I don't think uh, so. It just sounds loud in my headphones. I don't know if it's loud for like the audience. Oh, right. It might be... What, what, what letter is your headphones? Uh, uh A. He's an A. I'm an A. He's in C. <laughs> Ack. Yeah, I'm in C. E C. D C. Like bum, the bum, band. Bum. <laughs> Is that a little bit better? Yeah, just a little bit. Okay. That's good. You Mine sounds better. Ranked fun. up. Yeah, that's probably why then. I was sitting here <laughs> and I was going. I was trying to draw with my finger, oh, telling you to like you slide the fader. That's funny. But obviously, going like this, with no context, <laughs> you're not going to know what I mean. He's just wagging right. his finger up and down. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, no. Uh, so my last one is from the game Portal 2. That's a good one. Okay. Good game. It is the ending of the game, so should I go along with this? 
Portal 2's old. It's, it yeah, was released it's 10 years ago. I looked it it's up. It's probably fine. It was April 2011. It's probably okay. Okay. So, the ending of Portal, you're in the final boss fight against Wheatley and stuff. Mm-hmm. And it, it's like the kind of like finale kind of thing. And you, your character, some stuff is happening. Your character shoots a portal. It goes up to the moon. Okay. Oh, I, I know this. And you shoot another one down at the floor below you. And everything gets sucked into space, including Wheatley and yourself. But you pull yourself back in, leaving Wheatley on the moon. And you're safe. And then it goes into this entire sequence where it's like a it's like a GLaDOS thing and there's like a bunch of turrets and they're singing. Mm-hmm. And it's it's very fun. But the moment that I am like talking about mainly is like the final, final bit. You're going up an elevator, the doors open, you're at the top, yeah, the doors open to a giant wheat field, and it's beautiful. I get it, wheatly. Wheat. Mute yourself. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I, I literally almost that, told him to mute himself. The, <laughs> no, that was actually very funny, Alex. You can unmute yourself. Yay! Welcome back, Alex. I'm funny. I thought it was just a funny joke. <laughs> Comedy. But, uh, yeah, it's just, like, a, such a beautiful moment because you've been stuck in these, labor- like, broken-down laboratory this entire game, and it opens up, and you see, like, pure life. And it's awesome. And then when you get out of the elevator, the door's shut behind you, but that's besides the point. We won't. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good one. I like it. Can I derail the conversation real quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just double checking on the time. What? So, Rama, so Chloe's Chloe interviewed me for something earlier today, and I had to send her interview questions, right? Yeah. All right, and she sent me back an email. Alex, this is so good. Thank you very mucho. Smiley face. Uh, but that's not what I'm looking at right now. Uh, what? Your signature. There's so many things on it. Yeah, I have all my positions on there. Should I didn't I, put like, my major or anything. Should I like? Put my position. Yeah, you want to have your club I, positions on there. All I, because all I have on there currently is my class year and like staff rep. Should I put like producer for high news? Well, listen. The reason <laughs> I did that is because I was sending emails back and forth between Channel Four, and I needed them to see I was qualified. Mm-hmm. But yeah. My signature is just Hunter Halterman. Because you're lame. Should I should I put all my stuff at the radio station on there? Uh, what do I have? Producer, High Noon, and you BGS? You have news editor for the leader, producer yeah. of news at WNYF, assistant uh-huh. staff rep at WNYF, producer of High Noon at FRS, PR chair at the Site Club, and the State University of New York. Bro, oh, so your, I don't even have producer on there for FRS. You got your resume. <laughs> you do have well, producer for FRS. Oh, I do. Okay. High Noon. Should I do, like, producer, High Noon, producer, just the facts? <laughs> no. No, Board don't up. do them all as separate. You could just say producer at FRS, like what I did. Well, you said High Noon Friday. Why did I just have High Noon and not the other? Okay. Just one show included. That's it. The others don't count. On today's episode of How to Write Your Signature with Chloe Kowalik. Yes, put all your club positions because it makes you look better. Okay, so I'll put producer. It's how I look more credible. I produce a lot of things. Exactly. So I'll produce. Just put producer, and then when they ask you... If, if that's what the email's related to, then you can just talk about it more. Okay. Okay. Anyways, it's your turn. Cool story. Uh, if you don't have anything, it's okay. Uh, no, Yo, that's... A, oh, sorry. Uh, no, what were you going to say? That's another fun moment. The ending of Super Mario 64 when you hit Whoa. Bowser into the thing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You throw Bowser off the platform into the bomb. Mm-hmm. Boom. Click Boom. the final star. One that sits with me. One of my favorite games, Fallout 4. Right. One of the moments that sits with these in that game, I've talked about plenty of them, right? I've talked about the Pridwin uh, going atop the building at the Pridwin. Yep. Uh, I've talked about coming out of the vault for the first time. I've talked about walking into Concord. Concord? Concord. Concord. Massachusetts for the first time. <laughs> I was trying to think of where that was. Yes, Massachusetts. I don't um, know why I had moved all the way back there and said that, but all the way back here but um one that i haven't talked about yet is when you verse kellogg which is one of the antagonists in the game uh, it is right before the print it actually happens in the building uh 
that like you stand on top of when you look at the Pridwin. It, the thing you do before that is like go to defeat Kellogg, which is pretty cool. But there's a moment, and it kind of uh, it goes from gameplay to cutscene very quickly. But uh, essentially, Kellogg's like guiding you through this place like a maze, and you walk into this central room, and it the lights just like flash on, and since are all pointing their guns at you. And then Kellogg just walks out from, like, behind a desk. Like, revolver in the air, like, hands up. It's like, let's just talk for a moment, shall we? It's just like, I have many mixed emotions, right? Uh, Because, obviously, you want to be like, "Mm, murder. But, like, the information that you learn from, like, that moment, then you're just kind of like... Someone, someone's got to die here. And I feel a little bit bad now about, you know, shooting you. But <laughs> just that, just that moment of like, let's talk before we, before we finish this. This is just like, ooh, mm-hmm. you know, just kind of like filled with anger before you're like, oh, like the winds knocked out of my sails a little bit. Yeah. But like that, that's a moment that I love from, uh, from Fallout. Another one is when you, uh. Uh, when one of the bombs that you set off in the game goes off. Specifically, if you blow up the Institute, uh, you get transported on top of one of the skyscrapers in Boston, uh, and you essentially just watch Cambridge, Massachusetts, cease to be no more because you just set off a nuclear reactor under the ground. That was a cool moment because like, everything just goes silent. Like, the music stops. All you can hear is just, like, the rumble of the nuclear bomb go off. And you're like, wow. That was a lot of power. You know what I mean? And that cuts to a cut scene. And it talks about, like, oh, family's important. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> but um, that's a good one. That's a good moment. Two nice. little, maybe two moments in Fallout 4. But Fallout 4 is such a great game. I recommend it, it to anyone. Mm-hmm. It's on uh, Game Pass on Xbox. So if you have Game Pass... Try it out. Absolutely try it out. I considered canceling my Game Pass this morning because I haven't had time to play Xbox, but then I realized it's December and I'm going to get charged anyway. <laughs> and then we have break, and I'll probably end up playing over break. Exactly. So I was like, well, too late yeah. now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I yeah. will likely be using my Game Pass for a little bit of a discount. I'm thinking about getting Skyrim Anniversary Edition. Ooh. Uh, I love Skyrim. Uh, I would love to earn all the achievements again. What are you laughing about? Why did you laugh at Skyrim? I still never played Skyrim. What? You gotta. Dude. I haven't played it either. I'm scared of Skyrim. Sky. What? Okay. No, because I'm. it's so like... No, not that it's a scary game. <laughs> ah, <laughs> no, dragon. It's so, I'm just like... It just like seems like something I would have to put a lot of effort into. And I'm scared to start something like that before not having enough time. So that would well, have to be a commitment. A, that's why you have break coming up. That's why... Yeah, that's why we get break is to play Skyrim. Yes. Yeah. Because, but no, I wouldn't like I'm trying to say I'm scared to start something so major like that, you know. Well, the anniversary edition, well, you'll you can get it for 20 bucks with Game Pass. I should, I do have Game Pass, and it bundles a bunch of Creation Club content. Um, so you get a bunch of new quests, like a bunch of new things to do. Um, I'm looking for like some of the stuff that gets added, um, added content. Here we go. Uh, you get all the DLC, of course. You know, DLC, good stuff. Um, get a whole bunch of new armor. Arcane Archer pack. Camping. Uh, you get farming and fishing. (laughs) I feel like fishing and farming. I think you can, there, there's a lot of cool stuff. Nice. (laughs) <laughs> no, I'm just I'm just messing with you because we're like at time, but no, I'll I'll actually probably look into that because I I do want to play something else. I just like Skyrim. I've wanted to play, but I keep putting it on the burner because I'm scared to start it and then not be able to finish it, mm-hmm. and that's devastating. It's a very historic game. It I, is. Every, everyone knows Skyrim. Yes, everybody knows Skyrim, but you know when you're listening to to Radiothon tomorrow, you should also come see the Normal Heart, which is December second through fifth at 7:30 p.m. in Bartlett Theater for the story of a gay activist enraged at the indifference of a public official and the gay community who must confront the personal toll of AIDS. 
You have a chance to view the normal heart on December 4th and 5th at the earlier 2 p.m. performance, and tickets can be purchased online or by calling the campus ticket office. Very cool. 10 out of 10. Larry Kramer. What? Uh, it's the dude that was in the play. Like oh, okay. the Like the story. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, I've actually heard a little bit about it. I know some people that are in it, so pretty cool. But yeah, so thank you guys for tuning in to VGS this week. If you're tuning in at 5 a.m. tomorrow, we commend you. And we'll talk to you then. If not, if you're not a 5 a.m. person, we'll see you at the same time as usual next week. We're going to do a bonus show. So, yeah. 5 a.m. is most likely going to be a variety gaming show. Yes. Yeah. We, I'm thinking of some very loose topics already. To we don't have like discuss. a specific topic. It's just going to be kind of like very open-ended and kind of relaxed. So yeah. it'll be a nice chill time if you're awake for mm -hmm. some reason. But yeah. So we'll see you either tomorrow or next week. Thank you for tuning in. You're listening to WCBF 88.9, the campus and community voice of Fredonia. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.